Hey guys, my name is Trevor Sullivan. I wanted to take a few moments today to show you the Amazon Recognition Service, which allows you to do things like facial analysis or celebrity recognition inside of an image file. It can also search for text, similar to optical character recognition, and you can also do something called finding labels in images. So you can use this service from the AWS Management Console by searching for the Recognition Service, However, we're going to take a look at how to utilize this service from the PowerShell SDK, or also known as the AWS Tools for PowerShell. So I'm going to switch over to Visual Studio Code here, and I've got a folder that's already set up with some images of celebrities, some images of different types of settings like kitchens and mountains and uh, people playing soccer. And I've also got some text, which is quotes from popular individuals like Jeff Bezos or Winston Churchill, and we'll go ahead and analyze those for text. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to get set up first, and we're going to call the set default AWS region to US East 2, because the US East 2, or Ohio region, is supported by the recognition service. Next thing we're going to do is create an S3 bucket. And uh, S3 bucket is basically just an object storage service that allows you to upload data to it. So we're going to create one with a random name. So we'll just use a GUID here for the name. And then we've stored that name in this variable called bucket name. So we'll go ahead and potentially use that throughout the rest of this video to upload data because the recognition service integrates with it. So let's go ahead and get started with the celebrity analysis. So what I'm going to do first here is go up a level to my recognition directory, and then we're going to get a list of the celebrity image files. So I just have one through five JPEG. So I'll just do get child item dot full name here, and that will give me the full path on the file system to each of the individual files. So let's go ahead and copy one of these. And what we're going to do is call this command in the AWS PowerShell module called find-rek celebrity. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can use this command, and it's similar with the other recognition commands as well. So you can specify the image bucket, image name, and image version. So this is used if you're storing objects inside of S3 buckets, but you can also specify the image content parameter, and you can see over here that it's a byte array. So what we'll do is basically just upload our files on demand from our local system here and do some analysis that way. So in order to, in order to obtain a byte array, I'm going to use the system.io.file class in the .NET framework, and then we'll do the read all bytes method. So we'll call that method. And if you hit control space right next to the method name, it'll show you the method signature. And you can see that it just takes a string parameter, which is the file system path. So I'll just put some single quotes here and paste in the path that I copied from down below here. And I'll go ahead and just hit the F8 key. And that will actually just invoke the line that the cursor is currently on. So as you can see, our image file was successfully uploaded to the service, and the service did some analysis and returned a response to us. Now the response object is stored inside of this celebs variable, so let's go ahead and explore that variable a little bit deeper. So if we check out celebs, you can see that we have an object with a few key properties. We have celebrity faces, the orientation correction, uh, so it's basically telling us that we don't need to correct the orientation, so we don't need to rotate at all. And it also will give you a list of unrecognized faces as well. But in this particular image, you can see that we only have a single face, which is uh, Taylor Swift right here. So if we take a look at the celebs and then go into the celebrity faces property, this is actually an array. So we can actually just do celebs and pipe this into the get member command in PowerShell. And that will show us that Celebrity Faces is a, uh, an, an array or a collection of objects. And each one of those is going to represent a different recognized celebrity face inside the image. So if we just enumerate the array here, we just get one item because there's only one celebrity face in the image. 
As you can see, the service has provided us this integer that shows its confidence level that the face matches what it thinks it does. So it has a 100% confidence level and it says, hey, the person's name is Taylor Swift. And we also have this complex property here called face. So if we drill into this compared face object, so we'll grab the first element of the array and say dot face. So you can see that the face property for each of the recognized celebrities has its own set of properties like the bounding box, which is the set of coordinates that the face was found in. You also have things like the confidence level for that particular face. So that 99.79 was rounded up to 100%. And then you also have some key landmarks. So landmarks is interesting because it actually shows you the properties of different facial elements. So it'll show you where on the image the left eye, the right eye, the nose, the mouth left, and the mouth right bounding box is. And so that helps you kind of identify on that image where the recognition service found the celebrity's face. You can also get the pose property, and the pose is kind of interesting as well because it will kind of indicate to you what the person's orientation is. So as you can see, because Taylor Swift in this particular image is facing the camera pretty much head on, um, her pose is actually pretty close to zero. But if we take another photo where she's twisted a little bit, like number two here, uh, or potentially number four or number five, we'll see different values for these. So let's go ahead and just upload our file to our S3 bucket. So we'll do write S3 object, bucket name, parameter is bucket name variable that we stored earlier. And then the file that we want to upload is going to be, let's just enumerate these files here, and let's just grab item number two here. Okay, so now we've uploaded this file called 2.jpg up to S3. So let's just do get S3 object, bucket name, my bucket name variable. And as you can see, the key name is just 2.jpg. So what we can do now is basically duplicate this line where we call find rec celebrity. And instead of calling the image content param parameter, we'll specify the bucket of bucket name, the image name, which is 2.jpg. And so now we're basically telling the recognition service to go out to the bucket in this variable and just grab this key, and it will do the analysis against that object. So now we've run this command against a different image. So just to reiterate uh, number two here, where she's twisted a little bit and she's walking, so let's go ahead and take a look at the celebs property now. And if we drill back down into the pose, you'll now see that the yaw is actually quite a bit negative, right? So earlier we had a positive value of 0 0.153, and now we have this yaw of negative 29 degrees because her body is actually twisted in this particular photo. Uh, if it's a little bit too small for you to see, uh, don't worry about it, but... Um, she is, she is actually just twisted here in this photo a little bit. Okay, so that's how you basically identify, rec uh, uh, recognize celebrities in the recognition service. You can pass in the byte array directly, or you can reference an item in a bucket. So let's move on to recognizing text inside of the recognition service. So I'm going to switch over to my text folder here. And we will open up this in our Windows Explorer. And as you can see, we've got this image of Jeff Bezos, and it says, if you can't tolerate critics, don't do anything new or interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to do some analysis against this image of Jeff Bezos. So I will call the readAllBytes method and pass in the BezosCritics.jpg from my local file system. And then we'll assign this to a variable called RecText. So let's hit F8. 
We'll run this command. It'll run a text recognition using the specified image content. So that parameter, as you can see, is the same as on the other command that we called. So now we've got this rec text variable. And if we take all of these results and format them as a table and add the auto size parameter, we can actually see all of the individual text as well as the confidence level of the recognition service in identifying that text. And so if we just kind of read through the text here, it says, if you can't tolerate critics, don't do anything new or interesting, Jeff Bezos, and then succeedfeed.com or something. So what's interesting there here is that for each set of text, we actually have a ge geometry that shows us where that text appeared on the image. So let's go ahead and drill into this result. So let's grab the first element here of this array, and then we'll check out the geometry property. So the geometry property has a bounding box and polygon property. So the bounding box is going to show the left, top, width, and height of that bounding box where that text is located. And if we check out the polygon, it's going to give us a bunch of x and y coordinates of where it identified that text. So very similar to the celebrity service in a way, but it's just locating text and it's actually doing optical character recognition. And it's also identifying the bounding box of the text that is in each of these images. Let's try one more really quickly. So I've got this image here of Winston Churchill. It says, you have enemies? Good. That means you've stood up for something sometime in your life. So let's go ahead and just grab that file path. So we'll grab all the full names here, then we'll grab this new JPEG path and rerun this command with F8. And if we explore the rec text variable again, because we overwrote it, we'll pipe that through format table auto size again, just so we get this nice tabular view. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job of detecting the text here. Uh, it only has an 88.6 confidence level, which is still pretty high for that first line. And you can see it's actually accurate. So it, so it did properly identify that text. So that's just a couple of examples here of how to identify text. And then finally, we're going to wrap up by identifying labels. So let's switch over to the labels subdirectory here. And I have a few different images that I grabbed off the web. One's of a kitchen here. I have another kitchen that looks a little bit different. And I've also got a picture of a mountain and some water out in Switzerland, as well as some people playing soccer. So what I'm going to do now is call this find rec label command. So this allows you to identify different types of labels. And we're just going to kind of explore what is inside of these images. So let's go ahead and just grab these file system paths here. And uh, again, I'll use the system.io.file class to read all bytes from this kitchen wood image. And I'll just create a variable called labels, and that'll store the results from the find rec label command. Cool. So let's go ahead and explore the labels variable now that we have called the find rec label command. And you can see if we check out this labels property, we also have that orientation correction that we saw similar in the celebrity API. And so under labels, if we explore that deeper, you can see the confidence level that the service has in different properties that kind of describe what's in that image. So it's very confident that this is an indoor photo. It has something to do with interior design. It's a kitchen. It's a room. There's appliances inside of the room. There's electrical devices in the room. There's an oven and a stove and a dining table and just more generically furniture, right? So some of these properties like electronics and hardware are not quite so confident. So it even says, hey, maybe there's some computer hardware in that image. And it might be picking up on that from things like the, you know, maybe the oven looks kind of like a computer screen or something like that. So to be fair, it doesn't have a very high confidence level there, but it is suggesting that, you know, something in this image looks kind of like a computer screen. So let's try a different image. Let's try this mountains and water image and just see what we get as a result. So we'll copy our file system path, just replace that, and hit F8. 
And as you can see, the process of uploading these images and actually running the analysis is pretty fast, so you don't really have to wait a long time. So we have a fewer set of properties in this one, but it's pretty accurate with almost all of them. So we can see that there's a glacier, there's ice, there's it's a mountain, nature, you're outdoors, there's snow on the ground, um, it's a part of a mountain range, and there's a mountain peak that it can actually identify even more specifically. So obviously that mountain peak is very prominent in this particular image. Um, but as you can see, it's very confident about these results. And, it, and sure enough, it's accurate. There's a lot of snow. Uh, it's part of a mountain range. There's multiple mountains, or at least you can see parts of other mountains that are next to this prominent peak. And um, it's, it's, there's nature. It's outdoors. So this is just a really easy way for you to you know, upload content to the recognition service automatically identify what's in that image and you know you can use that metadata and store that metadata in a database or something like that but it really helps you just to, to rapidly categorize images without having to do any kind of manual analysis so that's just kind of a brief introduction to using the amazon recognition service from the aws tools for powershell i hope you enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up if you liked this video and leave a comment if you have any ideas for future videos that you'd like to see me create thanks again for watching Cheers.